Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls. Well, Labor Day is over, and that... Hi, boys and girls. Well, as we all know, yesterday was the anniversary of September 11th. And one of the things we've heard many times is how that day changed America forever. And you may wonder, what does that mean? How has America changed in the last 10 years, other than the shoes that we have to take off now at the airport and the surprise return of Rick Astley? Well, that's why Uncle Jay's news word for this week is transformed. No, this has nothing to do with that movie starring Shia LaBeouf and anybody but Megan Fox. No, it means to be changed inside in a basic way, like America has changed since 2001. Ten years ago, America was obsessed with stupid, trivial stuff like the personal train wreck lives of airhead celebrities and TV shows about vampires that got huge audiences at the time and movies about witchcraft and magic that broke box office records when they opened. It was a very different time. But in the last 10 years, we've been transformed and not just in entertainment, but in the real world, too. In 2001, the economy had fallen into a recession and the government was raising spending, but it was promising to cut back sometime in the future. In politics, everybody was arguing about President Bush's tax cuts, with Democrats trying to end them and Republicans trying to extend them. It was ugly, but that was 10 years ago, before the events of September 11th, us, and brought us together. We're so different now, aren't we? In 2001, Tom Cruise was fighting rumors that his marriage was in trouble. But then again, Paul McCartney announced that he was engaged. Now, one thing that hasn't changed since 2001, boys and girls, is the Internet. It still has hugely popular search engines that help you find the websites you need. It still has various web browsers and information services that are booming businesses. And, of course, there are the social networks with their millions of eternally loyal subscribers. Some things do stay the same. And now it's time to answer one of your news questions. This week it comes from... Mitch in Austin. Hi, Mitch. Mitch writes, Dear Uncle Jay, do you think President Obama can get reelected? He's been knocked around by Republicans and foreign leaders, and the job situation is a mess. What do you think his chances are of keeping his job? Thanks, Mitch. Well, let's remember that the election is more than a year away, and that in the last three weeks alone, there have been three different Republican frontrunners. A lot is going to happen between now and next November. Most of it really annoying. But there's no denying that President Obama has taken some hard hits. Just last week, when he gave that big job speech to Congress, he seemed kind of diminished in stature from only a year ago. But that just proves, Mitch, how much can change in one year. So we'll see. Don't forget, you can see more and send your questions at UncleJExplains.com. Check back every Monday when Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a great kid is great news. <laughs>